guys, David here of Anthem Screen Printing. We got a comment here on our screen printing tutorial video by Billy the Brains of Tain. I hope I'm saying that right. But he says, great vid. Any way you can make a vid about how to accurately line up and print more than one color? Do you layer the screens up when exposing or what? So I'm about to make a little video answering that question for Billy and hopefully it'll help you guys out too. All right, here it goes. When screen printing multiple colors, you want to print registration marks onto your color layers. You want it in all four corners like so. You can do this by, in the print dialog box in Photoshop, you can just choose add registration marks, or you can just create them yourself. It could be X's, plus signs, whatever you want. You just want it to be the exact same on both films. So when you go to line it up, you just line up those registration marks and your perfect should be perfectly registered like so. Now when printing you want your images to be in pretty much the same spot on each screen that way when you're on your press and you wanna register your screens it's not very hard if your images were here on one screen and here on another screen you'd be pretty much screwed because you have like four inches to make up for. So you want them to be in the same spot on each screen. To do that, you want to use a T-square like this. So I'm going to take my first image, put the top up here, and you want to make sure, since this is the flat side or the print side of the screen, that your transparency is actually flipped over to where the text is upside down and you can't read it. This is because when you go to print it, it'll print correctly, like so. Alright, so you have your transparency, let's say somewhere right there, grab my T-square, and then I'll put it at 4 inches down, and then I'm going to be looking at this further edge on the T-square, and then what I like to do is I put the horizontal lines going through the registration marks right up against that edge. Alright, so I'm 4 inches down, I'm going to put them right on the outer edge. Alright, when that's done, you just take some scotch tape and tape down the corners. I usually just do two corners, one and then the opposite one. You want to use scotch tape because the light will go through it. If you use a different kind of tape, the tape will actually burn in your screen. Alright, so that screen's done. Now you're just going to want to do the exact same thing on your next screen. So get your T-square, four inches down, flip your film over, and put the lines through the registration marks up against the edge of the T-square. Alright, and then tape it in place. So by doing so, I can be sure that my films are pretty much in the exact same spot on the screen. You'll notice I didn't really pay too much attention to whether it was centered because that doesn't really matter. You can easily slide your screens in the press. It's really just the vertical distance that you want to be accurate. So now I'm just going to burn my screens and then I'll show you how to register them on the press. Alright, so my screens are now burned so I'm going to put them on the press and get them registered. So you're going to want to take one of the transparencies used to burn the screens and put it on your t-shirt platen wherever you want it to show up on the shirt. So somewhere like right here looks pretty good. Then I'm going to use some tape and tape it in place. That way the film doesn't move around with the screen when you're moving it. You can really use any kind of tape. I just use painter's tape because it's pretty easy to remove. Alright, so that's in place. Now I'm going to take my first screen put it on the press and register it to the registration box. There we go. You can see that's pretty close but not quite perfect. Uh, if you have a press that doesn't have micro registration you're gonna have to actually pull it out kinda like this. Problem with that is the clamp doesn't have a really good grip on it. So it's really recommended to have a press with micro registration. That way you can have the screen completely in the first clamp, but then you can actually move the clamp 
to get the screen properly registered. So I'm going to loosen my regis micro registration knobs and then I'm going to move this to where the targets fall perfectly in place. Bring this end over a little. Alright, so that looks pretty good. I'm going to tighten that one and go on to the next screen. that on. Okay, so tighten these, loosen in the micro registration knobs, and get it registered. That's all there is to it. You have your first screen registered and second screen registered. I don't want to knock the camera down, so that's it. All right, the only other thing I want to mention, which may seem pretty obvious, but you're going to want to tape the registration marks off on the screen. That way, when you go to actually print the design, you're only going to print the design and not the registration marks. So to tape these off, again, I just use painter's tape. Just rip off a little piece. Put it on each one. It's pretty simple. Let's do it like so. And that's it. And I would go ahead and print this image so you can see what it looks like, but I actually just burned these screens for a customer, so they're going to be doing the printing, and I don't want to give them a used screen. So that's about it. Hopefully that helps, and yeah, thanks for watching. Got a bunch of squeegees and hella screens. Price is so low, it's borderline obscene.